Hey, welcome back to Pupil Fuel. This is Schools here with another park spotlight with Planet Coaster. This time we're checking out the Grimestone Mine. Uh, I found this one, I think, on Reddit, and I decided to check it out because it did look very elaborate from the screenshots. Uh, I avoided the video because I wanted to experience it firsthand. And, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so uh, this one is created by RCTD! Exclamation point. He says in the description that Grimestone Mine is located in a tiny stony bay far away from any civilization. Some brave pirates founded a little settlement here and dig deep into Grimestone Mine. They hope to find the legendary treasure of Grimestone, but it's dangerous because the cave is very old and could collapse. With some wooden structures, they supported the most important shafts. Are you brave enough to enter the cave? And if so, avoid the dangerous shafts as you explore a dark world with a new obstacle around every corner. All right, RCTD, I accept your challenge. Let's go. So here we are. Welcome to Grimestone Mine. Just loaded it up and was greeted by that fabulous view of the moon and holy crap wow this looks pretty impressive to start off with look at this uh, landscape I mean what is going on here looks crazy am I right all the bumps and everything well, anyways, uh, just a reminder, by the way, after you're done writing this with me, if you like this, please go give them a thumbs up on the Steam Workshop. Let them know that you like it. Uh, I hope it's as good as it looks. Okay, so, where are we? Oh, look, it's like kind of, oh, right on the beach here. He's got a little ship <laughs> out here coming in, it looks like. That's cool. I think this is kind of may probably the only thing we're supposed to see here. I'm guessing, yeah, not much work done behind the scenes. Oh, except this is where people actually come in. Is that right? But there's no <laughs> there's no path connected. I guess that's intentional. He doesn't want guests on his ride. Hmm, interesting. I guess... Okay. So how in the world do you even get on this, then? Is, oh, this looks like the station. Yeah, this was a park. I didn't plop this down. This was, uh, as you can see from the terrain modifications, but... Yeah, I just loaded up the sandbox park here kind of expected this to just be working. Let's see. It's like a sign. There's no... There's no entrance or exit. Okay, I guess this is just meant for us to ride as is. No, like, real guest interaction or anything like that. Which I'm totally cool with that. I used to play coaster simulators all the time. And, uh, there was no guest interaction with those, so... You know what? I'm okay with it. Okay, here we are. I just had to stop the test. It was, uh... I don't know where these cars were, but... Anyways, now that we're kind of here, ready to go, we're gonna write it as a test, but first I kinda wanted to take a look at this entranceway here. Like, this isn't set up tr like a traditional <laughs> ride. There's no entrance on the side where the entrance should be. It looks instead like it's over here, and just kind of a fake path leading up to it. And then a lot of really neat scenery, though, surrounding this whole kind of bay. Uh, all the way down from here, you've got this pier, or dock, whatever. you got some caves that are lit up mysteriously. Oh, that's kind of neat. Alright. And then... This path comes all the way up here, and then of course over here. So anyways, uh, 
very nice lighting, very nice architecture. It's very atmospheric to start off with. Very nice tree placement. I mean, we are just covered in palm trees coming off these mountains. It looks great. A lot of time and effort put into placing these trees, so I can definitely appreciate that. Awesome. And then this is kind of like <laughs> two of the ships placed on top of each other, it looks like. Two of the kind of damaged, wrecked ships, which is kind of a very neat concept. I like that. I like this canopy. Alright. So far, very clever. I like it. Very atmospheric. Seems well done. Now, to test. We'll do a uh, track view here. Wow, this looks really good. Very nice attention to detail. Oh, wow. Even in here, look at all the wood on the sides and blocks. Oh, this is cool. This looks like a mine, for sure. Oh, what is going on here? That's creepy. Whoa, what? <laughs> Very cool. Oh, it looked like we were going up there, even. Nice flashing. Oh, that's, that's trippy. Look at how detailed this is in here. Holy crap, you got roots. Got tons of wood. Oh, one heck of a climb. Did you see the lamps up there? Oh, each section is lighting up. It's kind of weird, those tiki torches like that angle. <laughs> that looks bizarre. But that's alright. Look at this. God, that looks so cool. Oh, neat little dip there. Whoa. Wow. <gasps> what? Very nice. No! That's the end! I wanted more. I wanted more. Well, okay. So, very short, very sweet ride. But there's no denying that that was very well done. Very nicely themed. I mean, look at these. Look at these pieces. Oh, that one almost looked like it just bumped it. Did that just happen? Did you see that? What is going on? What's in here? Darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, so while they're just sitting there, we're gonna push up. Just take a look and oh wait. <laughs> oh yeah, this drops. Look, it tricked me again. So that's that is so clever, and like the fog hides it, and you kind of see the track in the distance, so you totally think, oh yep, this is the way I'm going. And I think that's the real, I mean, that's coaster track. That is coaster track right there. And he must have, like, disconnected it. Very clever. But when I was actually riding this, that freaked me out. Boom, drip, or drop right underneath here like that. That is pretty cool. And there's some very fun dips. And I love this. So detailed. Bunch of dead grass and bushes and stuff. And just great job on the lighting. Except now here it is, pitch black. Oh, right side is closed? I can't even test it now? I don't know what in the world happened. Cars per train, zero dollars? Oh! That was still the old track, wasn't it? And, wait, what in the hell? Okay, so yeah, I was still p <laughs> clicked on a, a piece that wasn't part of the actual ride, but what is this? What is... Oh, damn it! <laughs> 
Oh, he keeps fooling me with that, these tracks like this. He did that last time where I'm thinking I'm going up here and that's going to be really neat looking. And then, boom, down here into the darkness. Good grief. That is crazy. So crazy. But so good. <laughs> good job. And then look at this. This is really cool looking too. Just the scaffolding way down. God, so well done. And this is where I think we climb up the chain and the lights come on. I don't know what's happened to all the cars. You'd think one would be coming by or coming by us now, but nope. Okay, all these gears. It's so cool looking. Oh, here's the inversion. Then we actually come back out, and that's the end. Well, overall, I wish there was more, but that's usually a good sign. It means that it was so good that it left me wanting more. So... I'm going to give this one a thumbs up for sure. The theming was incredible. The surprises, the drops that you don't even know are coming. Perfectly executed. All right, well, I hope you had as much fun as I did, as short as it was. Uh, I'll probably do another one of these now since this one was so short. But anyways, like I said, get on this guy's workshop. Give him a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, check it out yourself, whatever. And if you like these spotlights, give me a like. Give me a subscribe, and uh, you'll see more of them. Thank you so much.